the NBA, we only have like two, one or two games. Uh, MLB, some of the games already have started or about to start. So I only have five good props for each. And then I have two for sleeper. Uh, but let's go with WNBA first. And as you can see, the only game going on here is a Phoenix and Seattle. So we're going to go for blocks and steals. And we're going to take Jewel Lloyd. Usually for her, we'll take her points props or points rebounds or points and assists but I like her blocks and steals uh, she is going against Phoenix last place team so I can see her either scoring a lot or doing some damage on the defensive so I have her going over for blocks and steals I think her points is a little bit too high I think this was at 23.5 this morning uh, next one is field goals made and I'm going to go with the only WNBA person to score 10,000 points. I'm going to go with Diana Taurasi. Uh, she scored like 42, so you can take her points prop. But I see her regressing now that she has a record. And I'm going to take her field goals made. I'm going to take the over. Uh, now that Brittany Griner's back, uh, I think uh, her offense is probably going to go a little back to her normal. So going Next one for field goal made, I'm going to go with Ezzy. Usually for her, we take her rebounds, uh, but it's a little inflated. So I'm going to take her field goals made. She does average six, seven. Uh, so I have her going over. So for Diana and Ezzy, I'm going for over field goals made. You can also look at their points prop. Next one, I'm going to go two points and I'm going to go with Brittany Griner coming back. Have her going over good matchup for her going against Seattle and then my last one to complete this five man is Sammy Whitcomb uh, you can look at her first half fantasy score but I'm gonna take her full game points as you can see she's been trending up she did have a stinker against Dallas uh, but her average is around 10 11 points a game with nine, I guess we got push equity. So those are the five I'm gonna go with WNBA. Jewel Lloyd over blocks and steals. Diana Taurasi and Ezzy over field goals made. Brittany Grant over points and Sammy Whitcomb over points. So let's head over to M MLB. I'll give you five props there. I'm gonna go first one is Jose Barrios going against the Red Sox. I have him going under. Next one for pitcher strikeouts, I'm going to go with Steven Matz. I think the line's way too high on him at six. Uh, he is going against Colorado. I don't see him getting seven. He's going to have a quality start, but I don't think he's going to get seven strikeouts. Um, so I'm taking the under on him. Usually his prop is around 4.5 or five strikeouts. So yes, he's have, a, uh, he's have had several quality starts string back to back. Uh, but I think his strikeout prop is a little bit too high. So I'm going to take the less. And then I'm going to head over to Walks Aloud. And I'm going to go with Michael Kolpek at 2.5. He's been struggling with control. Uh, so I have him going over. Especially against Cleveland. He had 5 against Cleveland last time. And Cleveland, they're usually a contact team. Or uh, they work their base on balls. So I have him going over as well. And then my last two to complete this five man, I'm gonna go with pitching outs. And I like these, I have a feeling both of these are gonna get bumped closer to game time. I'm gonna go with Reen Nelson. On other sites, I've seen him at 16 and some at 16.5. Right now it's at 15.5, so hopefully you guys get it at 15.5. I see him going over, especially against Minnesota who strikes out a lot. Uh, as you can see, he's been trending up. So I have him going over and then Tyler Anderson. This line is way too high, especially against the Mariners. So I have him less. I don't think he's going to get six complete innings against the Mariners. And those are the five for MLB that I like. Like as you can see, most of the games have already started. Jose Barrios and Steven Matz under strikeouts. Michael Kopech over walks allowed. Reed Nelson and Tyler Anderson. Nelson over pitching outs and Anderson less pitching outs. Uh, for sleeper, the two plays I like is Steven Matz for more hits allowed and Kenta Maeda for more hits allowed.
those are the two for sleeper make sure you guys mix and match pick your favorites you guys don't have to follow the exact five man you guys can break it up and just pick your favorites good luck please like subscribe and comment and good luck i'll see you guys in the next one